My beloved child, I've been sitting on something for a while now, and I've got to reveal the secret. But before I do, picture this. Two women, eyes filled with terror, hearts pounding, palms sweaty, on the brink of confessing something so scandalous, so jaw-dropping, that they're trembling in dread. But what's got them shaking in their boots? Could it be a dark secret? A mischievous plot? It's all because of something they did to you. Something so intense they quiver with fear at the mere thought of admitting it. So, what could it possibly be? Get ready, because you're about to dive deep into the drama, suspense, and mystery of it all. Trust me, you won't want to miss this wild ride. Before moving forward, affirm your belief in God by commenting, yes. Remember, our existence is influenced by what we receive, but the true meaning of life lies in what we give. A humble $40 contribution can provide sustenance for a child for several days. Are you ready? In a moment of bravery, two women will step forward to confess their regrettable actions that have deeply affected your personal life. They have chosen to confront their mistakes, acknowledging the actions that have significantly impacted your life's journey. However, their confession harbors a hidden agenda. These individuals have chosen to take responsibility for their actions, recognizing the seriousness of their deeds and the consequences they have caused you. They are motivated by their own desires to regain your trust. Their intention was to alter your self-perception and tarnish the sanctity of your private space. Allow me to unveil the motives behind their actions, with one motive from each woman. You have immersed yourself in your aspirations, making a bold choice to pursue your dreams. Equipped with all the necessary tools and resources, you are poised to achieve them with a clear strategy in place. Driven by determination and courage, you are prepared to advance steadily toward your goal. This journey is uniquely yours, and with each step you take, you come closer to achieving your dreams. Feel the thrill of your adventurous spirit as it leads you to unexplored territories, encouraging you to break free from the ordinary and face the unknown with courage in your heart. As you embark on this journey of exploration, you do so with confidence, knowing that each encounter has the potential to enrich your life in unexpected ways. Now, let's delve into the motivations of these women. One, driven by envy and jealousy, allowed bitterness to overshadow her as she compared her life to your accomplishments and joy. Blinded by her insecurities, she disrupted the peace of your world, seeking solace in misguided actions. Regrettably, her pursuit of personal satisfaction resulted in anguish and heartache for those around her, leaving behind a trail of pain. Driven by feelings of betrayal and anger, the second woman was consumed by a desire for revenge, convinced that you had wronged her in some manner. Blinded by her emotions, she failed to see beyond her own hurt, falsely believing that you had abandoned her. Her judgment was clouded, leading her to resort to extreme measures to inflict harm upon you. Unfortunately, she failed to grasp the true consequences of her actions, inadvertently causing further damage in her quest for revenge. Now, returning to the angel's message of self-transformation, your task is to understand how a project serves the greater good. Your role involves motivating others, urging them to give their best for the benefit of all. Envision yourself as the leader of a team, guiding them towards a common goal that enhances the well-being of everyone involved. You must rally their energy and focus, inspiring each individual to contribute their utmost efforts. It's like conducting an orchestra, harmonizing every instrument to create a symphony of success. Your role is pivotal in ensuring that everyone works together with enthusiasm and determination, knowing that their contributions will positively impact the world around them. Prepare yourself, ignite your inner fire, and lead the charge towards a brighter future for all. Your organizational skills ensure that everyone stays on course, boosting the confidence of each team member. When you become a source of inspiration, the results are plentiful, leaving everyone feeling empowered and capable. Envision yourself as the conductor of a finely tuned machine, 
orchestrating each part to function seamlessly together. Your adeptness at maintaining seamless operations serves as the glue that binds everything together, ensuring everyone feels valued and motivated. As you lead by example, others will look to you for guidance and encouragement, trusting that you have their best interests at heart. Embrace your role as a leader and witness those around you thrive and prosper. As confidence grows within you, remain vigilant. For there are individuals among us who possess significant power or resources, but lack the maturity to wield them wisely. This often stems from an excessive identification with wealth, leading to extravagant displays or overly cautious spending. At the root of this issue lies a lack of self-awareness and wisdom in utilizing opportunities effectively. If this depiction does not resonate with you, consider offering guidance to those who may need it. You could be the impartial voice of reason they seek to regain balance and perspective. However, if these words strike a chord with you, allow this message to gently guide you towards self-reflection and personal growth. Embrace the chance to reassess your priorities and make more prudent choices with the resources at your disposal. Remember, genuine fulfillment arises from using your blessings wisely and with humility. It's now revealed that all along, you've been misled, attributing the turmoil in your life to someone else. In reality, these two women were influenced by their own struggles and emotions, serving as the source of your pain. I share this not to weigh heavy on your heart, but to offer you a path to healing and understanding. Embrace this revelation as an opportunity to dispel confusion and find inner peace. When confronted with unexpected revelations, it's natural to feel anger and resentment. But as a messenger of the divine, I implore you to seek forgiveness within your heart. Forgiveness doesn't condone any wrongs committed against you but it frees you from the weight of carrying hatred. Embrace forgiveness as a powerful tool for healing and restoring your emotional well-being. By letting go of resentment, you create space for peace and inner strength to flourish within you. Amidst this journey riddled with challenges, always remember that the actions of others do not determine your worth. Deep within you lies the resilience and fortitude to overcome the pain inflicted by others. You are cherished and valued, and nothing can dim the radiant light that emanates from your heart. As someone who holds you in high regard, I encourage you to recognize the greatness within yourself and embrace your inner strength. These qualities are the key to conquering any obstacles that may come your way. If these words resonate with you, show your support by liking this message and spreading positivity to others. Prioritizing self-care and nurturing personal growth are vital for your well-being. Refuse to let others' judgments shape your self-image. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. And surround yourself with supportive individuals who uplift and inspire you. These steps will help you maintain a positive and confident outlook on yourself. Today signifies the dawn of a new chapter in your life. Embrace the truth reconstruct your personal boundaries, and release the negative influences of the past. Forge ahead with courage, faith, and hope, knowing that you are never alone. If you resonate with this message, express your support by typing 111 in the comments. Divine guidance illuminates the path to a brighter future. Dear child, as you absorb these words, feel the unconditional love of God surrounding you. Embrace the journey of self-discovery and growth, knowing that you possess the strength to overcome any obstacle. With forgiveness and determination, you will rise like a phoenix, ready to embrace the beautiful life ahead. Trust in the divine plan, understanding that you are eternally cherished. Now, listen to this revelation. Today, summon courage, for darkness will not engulf you. Despite appearances, the enemy's assaults cannot defeat you. Swift resolution is imminent, for God is never tardy and never abandons his children. Rest assured that blessings and restoration are on the horizon, even in this challenging season. God perceives the injustices you've endured and will establish justice in due course. He is a God of redemption, 
extending forgiveness and a fresh start regardless of past errors. Embrace His love and grace, knowing that He walks alongside you on your journey of growth and transformation. As you receive today's blessing, recall that God is a provider, restorer, and redeemer. Trust in His faithfulness and witness miracles unfolding in your life. Embrace change as a beneficial force, for God remains steadfast while guiding you to adapt to His unfolding wisdom. Change has commenced in your life, and there is no need to fear it, for I utilize change as a tool to mold you into a more perfect reflection of myself. Refrain from clinging to the comforts and treasures of the past, or you risk overlooking the new blessings I have in store for you. I can transform even the most shattered pieces into beauty, but you must be willing to journey forward with me. While change may initially seem daunting, it's an essential catalyst for your growth and development. Embrace change and trust in my plan for your life. Just as a potter molds clay into a vessel, I am continually shaping you into the likeness of my son. Be prepared. For this transformation may necessitate letting go of old habits, relationships, and thought patterns that no longer align with my purposes for you. Although it may be uncomfortable, the ultimate outcome will be worthwhile. The changes I orchestrate will unveil new opportunities and blessings beyond your wildest imagination. By embracing change, you unlock a world of endless possibilities. I am always working behind the scenes for your ultimate good. Surrender to my will and trust in my timing, navigating through uncertainties with peace and confidence. Resolve in your heart and mind to welcome change as an integral part of your growth and transformation journey. Trust in my divine plan, allowing me to sculpt you into the person I created you to be, witnessing the beauty and purpose of your life unfold before your eyes. Remember. Change marks not an end, but a new beginning teeming with ongoing possibilities and answered prayers. Do not allow the words of those prophesying doom to weaken your resolve. Through my prophet Joel, I foretold of both darkness and morning light in the same season. While the world may quake, I will establish my kingdom of love, righteousness, and life. Will you join me in establishing this kingdom as you navigate through change? In times of upheaval, recognizing the potency of partnering with me through faith is paramount in establishing my kingdom on earth. This collaboration demands unwavering resolve amid adversity, anchored in trust in my promises and enduring love. It beckons you to walk in the effulgence of my glory, allowing my presence to radiate through you and influence the world around you. In this current phase, Discerning the voices shaping your life holds profound importance. While acknowledging the shadows that loom, cling steadfastly to the hope and certainty embedded in my teachings. My assurances of a radiant dawn and unyielding sovereignty affirm my dominion over your circumstances and eventual triumph over malevolence. Collaborating with me entails becoming emissaries of love, righteousness, and life in a world yearning for healing and renewal. This necessitates actively engaging with others in my name, showcasing empathy, compassion, and advocating for equity. Though daunting, this endeavor is within reach through alignment with my spirit and reliance on my fortitude. Will you heed the call to join forces with me in establishing my kingdom on earth? Will you rise with valor and faith Assured that my luminance will dispel shadows and usher in a fresh dawn of hope and redemption? The decision rests with you, yet the chance to contribute to a cause grander than yourself is a privilege not to be underestimated. Embrace this summons resolutely, for I accompany you every step of the way. Let the buoyancy within your spirit and the melody of praise on your lips resonate as a rallying cry instilling trepidation in the dominion of darkness. Your adversary discerns that the jubilation I've instilled within you weakens his grip. Rejoice today, for your triumph is assured in me. Your exultation can serve as a beacon of hope to those in despair, a testament to my constancy and affection. Through adoration and adulation directed towards me, 
You assert my supremacy over any adversity or conflict you encounter. Your jubilance is infectious, diffusing hope and illumination to those ensnared in darkness. Furthermore, your exaltation and adulation serve as potent armaments in spiritual warfare, shattering the adversary's grip on your life and the lives of those around you. The adversary thrives on fear and despondency, but when you extol me, you proclaim my supremacy over any malevolent force. Your hymn of adoration attests to your unwavering faith in my capacity to surmount obstacles and secure triumph in every circumstance. Amidst uncertainties and anxieties, it's tempting to dwell on the negative and succumb to worry. Proceed with assurance, for I am by your side, steering you toward blessings. Today, timidity and apprehension yield to courage, audacity, and faith. The potency of love expels all fear, and through the sacrifice of the cross, I have infused perfect love into every facet of your existence. Rely on me, for I am guiding you toward the realization of your deepest aspirations and dreams. Embrace this odyssey with conviction, assured that I have not denied or excluded you. Rest in my assurances, for I am steadfast in fulfilling all that you have entrusted to me. Imagine you're walking through a dense fog where your vision is limited, and every step is an act of trust. This is much like our walk with God, a journey through the unknown, relying solely on His guidance and not our limited perception. Today, I will share with you profound insights into walking by faith and not by sight or emotions. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. My friends in this world, we are often tempted to rely on what we can see and feel. Yet, let us embrace the wisdom of Hebrews 11 verse 1, which declares, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. This profound truth anchors us in the midst of life's ever-changing tides. It calls us to place our trust in God's plan, even when it stretches beyond our understanding or visible horizon. Let us walk in faith, irrespective of the shifting sands of our circumstances and feelings. As we journey together, we will explore seven key insights that will help us navigate this path of faith. These insights will deepen our trust in the Lord and guide us in aligning our steps with His divine will. Number one, walking by faith, not your emotions. Life often presents us with a roller coaster of emotions, and you know what? But our emotions can be misleading, taking us on a path that deviates from God's plan. The story of Elijah in 1 Kings 19 offers a powerful lesson on this. After a significant victory at Mount Carmel, Elijah plunged into despair and fear due to Jezebel's threats. Despite having just witnessed God's mighty power, his emotions in that moment overshadowed his faith. This reminds us that even the strongest among us can falter if we lean too heavily on our emotional responses. My friends, in moments of emotional turmoil, let us hold on to the truth found in Psalm 56 verse 3, which says, Whenever I'm afraid, I will trust in you. This scripture not only addresses our fears, but also our broader emotional responses. It teaches us that our faith should not be swayed by the ever-changing tides of our emotions. Instead, we are called to place our trust in decisions in the steadfast love of God, not in the temporary whispers of our feelings. Walking by faith and not by emotions requires us to cultivate a deep sense of discernment and reliance on the Holy Spirit. It means that in moments of fear, anxiety, or even overwhelming joy, we pause and align these feelings with God's Word. It's about understanding that emotions are part of our human experience, but they should not be the compass that guides our decisions or our belief in God's promises. Therefore, as we navigate the challenges of life, let us seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit. Let us train ourselves to recognize when our emotions are leading us astray and stand in faith. Listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and turn to prayer and scripture for truth in moments when our emotions threaten to overwhelm our faith. Let us remember Elijah and learn to rise above our immediate feelings, trusting in God's eternal plan and unfailing love. 
My friends, let us strive to walk by faith, grounded in the truth of God's word, rather than being swayed by the fleeting and often deceptive nature of our emotions. In doing so, we find stability and clarity anchored in the love and wisdom of our Heavenly Father. Number two, trusting in God's timing over our own. The concept of time often perplexes us. We live in a world that revolves around schedules, deadlines, and immediate gratification. This fast-paced life can sometimes make the virtue of patience seem like a forgotten relic. Yet, in the realm of faith, time takes on a different dimension. As we ponder on the story of Noah, we see a man who operated not on conventional time, but on God's time. Building an ark with no cloud in the sky, Noah's faith was not rooted in what he could see or understand. It was anchored in the promises of God. In this context, Isaiah 55 verse 8 echoes profoundly, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. This verse isn't just about God's higher thinking, but also about his perfect timing. Noah's steadfast obedience to a task that appeared illogical on the surface teaches us an invaluable lesson about the true nature of unwavering faith. Our journey is often marred by our impatience and our lack of trust in God's timing. We want things to happen now, forgetting that God's timeline is always perfect, even when it seems delayed by our standards. Trusting in God's timing means embracing a season of waiting. It involves understanding that our immediate desires may not align with God's ultimate plan for us. This waiting is not passive, it's an active, faithful anticipation. It's about preparing our hearts, nurturing our faith, and staying committed to God's course, even when the horizon seems distant. Noah's faithfulness during his season of waiting, building an ark amidst doubt and ridicule, is a testament to the strength that comes from trusting in God's timing. Therefore, as we navigate through our lives, let us seek to embody Noah's unwavering faith. When faced with decisions, big or small, let us pause and consider God's timing. This perspective shift is not about inaction. It's about aligning our actions with God's divine schedule. In moments of impatience and uncertainty, let us recall Noah's Ark, a symbol of trust and obedience in God's perfect timing. God guiding us to a deeper understanding of faith. Number three, surrendering personal ambitions to divine will. At times, our personal ambitions and dreams seem to chart our course. Yet, God's plan calls us to a different path. The story of Jonah vividly illustrates this struggle. Jonah was called to go to Nineveh, a task he initially ran from because it conflicted with his personal desires and prejudices. His journey, including the extraordinary experience inside the belly of a great fish, symbolizes the internal conflict we face when our plans clash with God's. As we reflect on Jonah's story, we are reminded of Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the Lord's counsel that will stand. This verse teaches us about the supremacy of God's will over our own ambitions. Jonah's eventual decision to obey God despite his initial reluctance demonstrates the importance of surrendering our plans to God, trusting that his plans are not only different but better. Surrendering to God's will often mean stepping outside our comfort zones and confronting our deepest fears and prejudices. For Jonah, going to Nineveh was not just about a physical journey, but also a spiritual transformation. This act of surrender is not a sign of weakness, but of profound strength and faith, acknowledging that our personal ambitions must align with God's higher purpose. Therefore, in our lives, when we find our ambitions clashing with God's call, let us remember Jonah's journey. It's a call to introspection and realignment, a reminder that our ultimate purpose is found not in the pursuit of our ambitions, but in aligning them with God's divine plan. Surrendering doesn't mean giving up on our dreams. It means reshaping them to fit into the grand narrative God has written for us. Number four, overcoming doubts with God's assurance. Doubts are a natural part of our faith journey. They challenge our beliefs and can lead to spiritual growth if navigated wisely. The story of Thomas, often labeled as Doubting Thomas, offers a unique perspective on this. After the resurrection of Jesus, Thomas struggled with doubt, unable to believe without seeing Jesus with his own eyes. 
His story is a reflection of our own moments of doubt, where we see tangible proof of God's presence and plan. In these moments, Jesus' words to Thomas resonate deeply, as recorded in John 20, verse 29, where he said, Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. This verse is not just a rebuke of doubt, but an invitation to a deeper faith, a faith that believes in God's plan even when it's not visibly evident. Thomas's eventual declaration of faith upon seeing Jesus reminds us that our doubts, when surrendered to God, can lead to a stronger conviction in his plan for us. Overcoming doubt requires an intentional cultivation of faith and trust in God. It involves seeking him through his word, prayer, and the fellowship of believers. Thomas's story teaches us that it's okay to have questions or uncertainties, but we should not let them distance us from God. Instead, we should bring them to him, allowing his truth to guide and reassure us. As we face our doubts, let's be encouraged by Thomas's journey from skepticism to faith. Let us embrace our doubts not as hindrances, but as stepping stones to a deeper understanding and trust in God's plan. In our quest for answers, let us remain open to the ways God reveals His will and purpose for our lives. Number 5. Embracing Transformation Through God's Guidance Personal transformation is often a key aspect of aligning with God's plan. The transformation of Saul to Paul is one of the most striking examples of this. Saul, initially a persecutor of Christians, experienced a radical transformation on the road to Damascus. This was not just a change of heart, but a complete redirection of his life's purpose. Guided by God's hand, Paul's transformation, as he later became known, was marked by a total surrender to God's will. As he states in Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. This profound declaration highlights the essence of embracing God's plan. It's about letting go of our old selves and allowing God to reshape our identity and purpose according to His divine will. Embracing transformation through God's guidance requires humility and a willingness to let go of our former ways. For Paul, this meant abandoning his previous beliefs and practices to fully embrace the teachings of Christ. This kind of transformation can be challenging as it often requires us to step into unfamiliar territory and adopt new ways of thinking and living. Therefore, as we seek to align with God's plan, let us be open to the transformative work He wants to do in us. Like Paul, let us be willing to undergo the changes that come with following Christ. This transformation is not a loss of self, but a discovery of our true identity and purpose in God. It's a journey from who we are to who God intends us to be. Number 6. Persevering in Faith Despite Challenges The journey of faith is often marked by challenges and trials. These moments test our perseverance and commitment to God's plan. The story of the prophet Hosea is a profound example of unwavering faith amidst adversity. Hosea was called to marry an unfaithful woman, Gomer, as a symbol of God's love for an unfaithful Israel. This difficult path was not a reflection of personal failure, but a profound illustration of God's unwavering commitment and love. Hosea's life reminds us of James 1 verse 12, which says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. This verse highlights the virtue of perseverance. Enduring challenges in our faith journey is not about silently bearing pain, but also about remaining steadfast in our trust in God's plan. Even when it leads us through difficult and incomprehensible paths, persevering in faith requires us to look beyond our current struggles and focus on the greater purpose that God has for us. Hosea's unwavering commitment to God, despite the pain and humiliation he endured, serves as a powerful testament to the strength that comes from divine assurance. It's about understanding that our trials are not just obstacles, but opportunities for growth and deeper reliance on God. As we face our own challenges, let us draw inspiration from Hosea's perseverance. Let us remember that our trials are temporary, but the lessons and strength we gain from them have eternal significance. In times of hardship, let us cling to the promise of the crown of life, persevering in faith and trusting in the unfailing love and plan of God. Number 7. Walking in Faith, Not by Sight 
The essence of walking by faith is beautifully captured in the life of Abraham. Called to leave his homeland and go to an unknown land, Abraham's journey was marked by faith in God's promises, even when they seemed distant and unattainable. He believed in God's promise of a son despite his and Sarah's old age and was willing to sacrifice his promised son, Isaac, trusting in God's plan above his understanding. Abraham's life resonates with 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. This principle defines our Christian walk, a journey based not on visible evidence but on the assurance of God's promises. Abraham's willingness to step into the unknown, trusting in God's word, sets a powerful example for us. Walking by faith, not by sight, means trusting in God's promises even when they defy our logic or timelines. It involves letting go of our need for visible proof and relying on the certainty of God's word. Abraham's journey, filled with ups and downs, was a testament to the fact that faith is not a straight path, but a series of steps taken in trust and obedience. Therefore, as we walk our own journey of faith, let us be inspired by Abraham's example. Let us embrace the uncertainties and challenges with faith, knowing that our sight is limited but God's vision is infinite. In every step, in every decision, let us walk by faith, holding on to the promises of God, assured that His plan for us is perfect and His timing is impeccable. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, you are mighty and majestic. Your glory fills the heavens and the earth. You are the rock of ages, the great I am, the one who is, who is, and who is to come. Your wisdom is unsearchable, and your power is like no other. In your presence, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that you are Lord. I lift your name on high, for you are worthy of all glory, honor, and praise. I thank you, Father, for your manifold blessings in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. Thank you for your unfailing love, your boundless grace, and your merciful kindness that greets me each morning. Your faithfulness is my shield and buckler. Thank you for being my guide, my comforter, and my steadfast hope in times of uncertainty. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have leaned on my understanding, for moments when my faith faltered and I walked by sight. I ask for your forgiveness, cleanse my heart from all unrighteousness. I also forgive those who have wronged me, releasing all resentment and hurt. For in forgiveness, there is freedom and peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that I am walking by faith and not by sight. I rebuke every spirit of doubt, fear, and confusion. I bind any influence that contradicts your will for my life, and I ask for wisdom, clarity, and discernment. Lord, I trust in your unfailing provision. You are my provider, and I hold on to your promise to supply all my needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Give me this day my daily bread and my daily benefits. Heavenly Father, I pray that your hand of healing reaches out to touch me and my loved ones, bringing restoration and wholeness in every area where we need your divine healing. I pray against every attack of the enemy, be it on our health, our minds, or our spirits. Protect us, Lord, from all harm and keep us under the shadow of your wings. Deliver us from all evil and lead us away from temptation. Lord, I pray for your blessings upon my life and the lives of my loved ones. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We stand in agreement, united in our desire to follow your plan and purpose for our lives. Guide us, Lord, as we navigate through life's challenges and decisions. Help us to embrace your will, overcome our doubts, and find joy and fulfillment in your divine plan. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us. Fill us with the courage and strength to face whatever lies ahead. May we, like Abraham, trust in your promises, even when they seem distant. Help us to persevere through trials, knowing that you are refining us for a greater purpose. May our lives be a testament to your faithfulness and love. In the name of Jesus, we declare that we walk by faith, not by sight or our emotions. 
we declare that everything is working for us and not against us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. Let your will be done in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed and the day brims with potential? This moment, so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, we delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day, exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, you are the most important part of my day. This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him. And in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives, trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. 
In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the One who promises to be our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord. I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. Let your kingdom come, and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.
Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. Then, I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.